we're on our way to Mary Curtis um, Park, which has a nice beach over near, Ato well, it's in Etobicoke. And it's quite a long way there, like almost an hour drive, because we live in a downtown, and it's pretty far, like near Lakeshore. So we spent quite a bit of time over there swimming, and the water was pretty cool. And it isn't too rocky, which is nice, and it's monitored by um, a lifeguard. So, um, the beach has a really nice view overall, it has a bunch of trees, I mean it is pretty tiny so I guess not a lot of people can go there. And there was um, a corn stand, but it was like $5 each which is crazy, like they grow it and stuff and put stuff on it. Once you place which is also known as um, exhibition where they actually have the CNE and stuff and all those cool stuff and we went there before in the winter and they have this really nice event with all these lights even though it's cold mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure the CNE is opening soon we haven't been there in like a million years so maybe one day we'll do a video on the place and here is what Toronto is known for, our CN Tower, super big and always light up, lighted up with different colorful lights each night depending on the occasion. And it's getting dark outside and there's the rec room with all the cool stuff here. Here is Ripley's Aquarium which we actually did a video on and when they're open we'll probably do a tour. Scotiabank Arena where some games are played like bas basketball games and stuff and there's also a sports check here. So for people who don't know they're actually expanding Union Station and it's already pretty big like a maze which is weird and here is really the downtown floor. Well at least a part of it near Scotiabank Arena and then the night it looks so pretty with all the lights. Hey, so that's the end of our video. See you guys in the next one. And if you liked it, subscribe and maybe leave a like. Bye!